Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Spartan. And I'm Haji. And we are back watching episode 10 of Avatar The Last Airbender. We're actually watching 10 and 11 together today because it is the infamous Day of the Black Sun part one and part two. So as mentioned, yes, we are going to do our first ever two part reaction. We usually watch the other two parts together, but we ran a poll in our Patreon just seeing how we knew some big ones were coming up and most people preferred that we watch this one in particular, which is literally titled part one and part two together. With the finale, which is four episodes long, we will watch it all together, but release that into two parts just so we can manage all the editing. As for this one, it's going to be one big reaction today, so we hope you guys enjoy it. We are looking forward to the infamous Day of the Black Sun. Now, going into this, we can assume two things. One, Aang has not yet learned firebending. Yeah. And two, there are another 10 or so episodes. So it's fair to say that this is not going to be where it ends. We always said we sort of felt, or at least I felt that it was always going to be a bit cheesy. If, just too easy if they happened to win on the day when no yeah. firebending was available. It just felt like it was too much of a clutch play. Yeah. Like, things really work out so perfect. It would be cooler when the comet comes and they're overpowered. Like, the firebenders are overpowered and that's how they somehow do it. Because, you know, Aang's OP as well. Like, I don't know. Yeah, and I think we'll have to see, like, we've been teased that they get really strong. We've seen what the moon does to the waterbenders. Yeah. So, actually, in the recent episode of Puppet Master, we saw how much it enhanced yes. Hamar's powers and even Katara's. So we definitely want to see what Sozin's Comet can do for the mm. Firebenders and how you know how much it exaggerates their abilities. True, and I want to see because Iroh is like next level right now, and he is jacked to oh I don't even know what, like what a saying is, but he is next level jacked. And could you imagine him with the Comet? Yeah, true. Oh, Dragon uh, of the West is back, baby. Well, we're getting a bit ahead of ourselves. Yeah. Contrast to what's <laughs> what's about to happen. Technically, Iroh's going to have no abilities because it's the Day of Black Sun. Yes. But do you reckon he he'll be pretty strong, though, even with that? Yeah, I'm sure he's physically strong. and I'm sure yeah. he's got skills as a fighter and stuff. No, no, no doubt. Yeah. But he won't have his firebending, which is, you know, infamous for. Because don't forget, he can go in and out of the spirit world as well. Like, he can see the spirit world. Yeah, I don't know if he can go in and out, but he has visited yes. in the past. So, I wonder what that means. I don't know if they're going to touch on And he can bend that. lightning. I wonder... Well, that's a derivative of fire, apparently, yeah. so you might still need the fire abilities. Yeah. Just something that randomly came to mind now and as we were chatting, but Iroh, at his peak anyway, was definitely at least stronger than Azula. I wonder why... Azula's the only one we've seen with blue flames, mm. which are hotter than yellow flames. Well, I feel like with Iroh, he's been very tamed only because he's always versing his niece and nephew. So I feel like when there's a greater threat, that's when we'll see his true abilities. Yeah, perhaps. Yeah, maybe he has blue flames. I'm not sure. Or maybe blue flames aren't just necessarily better. They're just hotter, but there's a... Yeah. Who knows? So last episode, we saw that Aang was quite anxious about the day of the black sun and rightly so but i do feel like everything that he has gone through at this point in time all the challenges and triumphs has really built him up for this very moment or one of these very moments and you know he's built a team that is next level as well like everyone has gotten so much progression character progression ability progression and i feel like they're all going to be so useful when it comes to this day yeah i mean 100 percent, and they obviously have some really strong vendors with them yeah that won't be affected by the day of the black sun but True. we also know that azula knows about the plans that's what makes this whole thing sketchy mm. i don't i don't know if ang and crew ever realized that they leaked plans to azula i don't know because the bosco no, bosco do. but no but it was the not bosco it was the previous Earth King that was chatting and Azula heard, and they were never present for that. Right. So I don't actually know if they, if our team knows that, that the plans were leaked. I feel like I remember hearing Katara saying that they do know, so that plans out the window. Yeah, okay, I don't recall I, that at all. I feel, like, I feel like 
I remember something like Either that. way, it's a bit weird because if, yeah. if that is true and they're still going ahead with the same plan, that still is a bit – we haven't seen them change anything since yeah. then. So I'm thinking that's probably didn't happen. would only make sense. But I don't know. It'll be interesting to see. If they don't know, then the they're going to get screwed over, which obviously, I mean, we're expecting them to lose yes. this one way or another because – we need more of the show that's still to come. So I have a feeling as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, go. What's your feeling? I have a feeling as well that there's going to be a conclusion to both the mercenary after Aang, as mm -hmm. well as a yeah. big, as well as a big turning point for the relationship between Ira and Zuko to some degree. I feel like that's going to be tackled in this. And do you reckon Zuko and team or no, not yet. Oh, following this, maybe? I don't yeah, know. Following yeah. this, maybe. If I, I mean, Ira looks like he's getting ready to escape, right? Yeah, he's, I think there's going to be a lot of big shifts. And Zuko's been expressing a lot of discontent and frustration yeah. and anger and just confusion about why he doesn't feel the way he thought he would feel when he achieved, when he reached the moment yeah. he's in. So I think it's all been leading up to this and I'm expecting, and we do need enough time for Aang to get trained with firebending and build some camaraderie. So I'm thinking this point is a perfect position, which will still leave, you know, nine or so episodes yeah. or whatever it is, 10 or so episodes for them to then build that final phase for the final battle. I think so too. I do think that. <coughs> yeah, I knew. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> I do think that Zuko is really expressing his, I don't know what it is, but distrust or just, like you said, disappointment in the fact that everything he thought he was fighting for isn't what he's actually fighting for right now in this position that he's in. And Ira was the person that was helping him. But also it was great to see him and Aang learn about their histories. So we made it a little boo-boo, <laughs> a little mistake. So you explain it. Yeah, well, we just misunderstood that Roku and Sozin were Zuko's great-grandfathers, yes. not grandfathers. We just missed one generational tree. People in our Patreon filled us in on that, explained that next episode. So, yeah, thanks for that. That makes sense. Still, the impact was the same. Like, the, yeah. the relation to them, was it was still just as crazy. But, yeah. yeah, now we know the family tree a little clearer. So, hopefully, that draws Aang and Zuko together. Well, I think it's everything's pointing towards the inevitability of that. Everything since since the moment they met, yeah. since the, the blue spirit, Spirit. Spirit, and he rescued Aang, and they had that conversation together, and Aang asked him, you know, do you think in a, if we were born different, different roles, we could have been friends, you know? And you could tell Zuko was taken aback by the question. There was always sort of hinting to that. I remember, yeah. I remember that very moment. I was like, these two are going to be friends one day. I just had the feeling. And you know what's crazy? That's fantastic foreshadowing. Obviously, in hindsight, we can look at it, but if the roles were different or if things were different, do you think we could have been friends? I mean, you were one lifetime ago. And oh, it's like yeah, yeah, talking true. through that lens because really Aang knows things but doesn't know why he knows things in the, like, because yeah. he's the Avatar. So it's like he was hinting at something, you know, or yeah, Roku, Avatar Roku was trying to like push for something. Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting. Good pick up. <laughs> so... We've had a theory about either Zuko or Iroh teaching Aang firebending. Now, I just want both of us to lock one in. Who do you think will be the one to teach? I think Iroh, personally. I think Zuko. Okay. I think that Iroh might start off. Yeah, and then but Zuko. But I definitely think that Zuko helping his friend master firebending and yeah. forging their relationship between the two of them just makes more sense. Yeah, I do like that. I do like that. But maybe Aro has to, like, pave the way a bit. Uh, uncle yeah. and nephew together, that could, that'd be cool too. That'd be nice. Now, little side question before we get started, guys. Way off topic here. We were just playing around with our lighting and we want to know what you guys think. So, normally, we've got this little brighter look in the background. We're also mucking around with, Pudgy will show you now, a bit more of a darker look. So we like both. We like both. And we don't know which one from your perspective, which one gives more of an immersion, which one you guys like. Both work for us. And we're just not sure on which one's better, to be honest, just yet. But let us know in the comments down below which one you think is better, gives us a better viewing experience, and we'll see from there. For now, we'll just go with this one. <laughs> we appreciate all the support you guys have given us over on our Patreon. We do post several episodes ahead over there, as well as the uncut reactions. So if you want to support the channel and access those, we'll leave a link in the description. If you're watching over on YouTube and you enjoyed today's reaction, leave a like on the video, hit that subscribe button and let us know in the comments what you thought of this episode.
Okay, let's go. All right. Soccer working hard on his plans. The strategy man. Top of the morning, Momo. Sounds like you slept well. Like a baby moose lion. Thank goodness. So what's your strategy for taking him down? Gonna get your glow on and hit him with a little avatar state action? I can't. With some twinkle toes? When Azula shot me with lightning, <laughs> my seventh chakra was locked, cutting off my connection to all the cosmic energy in the universe. Oh, no way, dude. They're going in way underprepared there. I forgot about that. Dude, they're going in horrendous then. No, that is the invasion. Wow, their dad's there. And they're wearing their water um, tribe uniform again. Yeah, he's nice to see that. You made it, Dad. Were you able to locate everyone I told you to find? I did. Oh, those guys from the swamp. Oh, my God. This place ain't nothing like the swamp. <laughs> what do you reckon that is, though? Some sort of Fire Nation exploding trap would eat you? <laughs> <laughs> Or are those fellas a little loose in the leaf hat? I just wish they would wear pants. <laughs> oh my god. That's awesome, okay. Hopefully we'll see more of it. Yeah. yeah. Well, we know Jet ain't coming. Yeah. Talk. Rest in peace. He's grown. He's the Earthbender from book one. Tough. This is Haru. When we met him, his town was controlled by the Fire Nation, so he had to hide his earthbending. Katara inspired me and my father to take back our village. That's oh. awesome. Now we're here to help you. Oh, it's so nice to see him again. Hey, Loving no this. Way. Is that? Hippo happy to see blind back. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, that guy. The boulder and the hippo no longer fight for others' entertainment. Now we fight for our kingdom. Dude, Love it. Surely Boomy comes. Please, we haven't seen Boomy in ages. Surely that's. <laughs> Oh, that oh. guy. <laughs> okay, okay, awesome. It's like a reunion. I know. I didn't expect all this. Peanut sauce proved to be a failure. You're oh making God. peanut sauce bombs? <laughs> They're destructive. And delicious. <laughs> Are they Jet's friends? I think. Um, I can't remember. Aang, my dad and I made this for you. Oh, a new one. Oh, upgrade! This is amazing! And as a special feature, I added a snack compartment. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. If Sucker was using it, that'd be useful. Oh, Momo. You're never stepping outside these walls again. Think again, my friend. This guy always taunts him, dude. His stench will knock you right out. <laughs> I snuck in some white JT. I know you like rare teas. Oh, she's mine. Ever since I was put in here, you have been very kind to me. I like you, Ming. Ming, awesome. Don't worry, you'll do great. Come on, Sokka, you got this. Can't believe Sokka's leading it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. As you know. Today, we're invading the Fire Nation. I mean, I know you know that, because otherwise, why else would you be here? <laughs> oh, <laughs> He's no, like me, cool trying to do the intro. Yeah. And Aang's gonna fight the Fire Lord, and the Firebenders won't have any fire to use, so that's good for us. Oh my god. Oh no, he's lost the plot. Let me start at the beginning. Let's go. The and I discovered Aang frozen in an iceberg. Now, I didn't like Aang at first. Oh, <laughs> oh no, he's freaking cooked it, man. Let me just clarify a few points for everyone. Today is the day of Black Sun, and I want to thank you all for your self-sacrifice and your courage. Now this is a speech. Yeah, I was waiting for a J-up. We must fight past their battlements and secure the Plaza Tower. Once we do that, it's up to the Royal Palace. At that point, the eclipse will begin. Wow, it's very timing based. Isn't the point to invade during the eclipse when the firebenders are powerless? I mean, true. It only lasts eight minutes. Not enough time for the whole invasion. And the yeah. royal palace is heavily guarded by firebenders. So that's where we'll need the eclipse advantage. Mm, okay. The avatar will have defeated the fire lord. Damn, it's a lot of pressure for Aang. And this war will be over. Shit. Oh, what a monumental moment, dude. 
Like, look how many people. Oh, Saka's not feeling good. Yeah. She's like Look how many people are there to help them. I know. But I still. Where's Boomy, man? Boomy should be here. Oh, oh. Upper's got his armor. Upper, you look sick. That's a spider and upper. A spider. <laughs> I was hoping Aang would I was going to say, has to go in Iconic. Awesome. He's wearing his Iconic Monk outfit too. Oh. I love it. What was that sheep koala? <laughs> oh, wow. What's he riding? Interesting. Okay. Something's off with soccer today. The boats are ready to leave. I messed up, Aang. No, you didn't. Plan was my moment of truth, and I completely flopped it. I just fell apart. Sokka, that speech wasn't your moment of truth. You'll get your time in the finale, my friend. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I'm getting excited for what's to come. You so confident about everything. How do you know we're going to win? Because I already failed the world once at Ba Sing Se. I won't let myself fail again. Oh, oh shit. let's go, boys. Holy shit, dude. Let's what a go. jail. I know. You and the swamp benders whip up a fog cover. We'll sneak by them statues just like we sneak by that fire navy blockade. Oh, they're all the waterbenders. Epic. I could have gotten um, the waterbending master as well and stuff. Oh. Okay, so that's their blockade. But what's that going to do against water? Damn, their first challenge. Well, the ships will burn. They seem surprised. So they weren't... Yeah, they didn't... They don't know that, that, that they knew what the so plans. Works. Oh, okay, hang on. Damn, they're on it. Mm. So they're dummy ships. They must be. No one's on board, sir. Where'd they go? Oh, oh wow. Like submarines. That's awesome. That's so cool. That little fish. Oh, look at Upper. There's like a water bending hole around him. Congratulations, Sokka. You managed to invent a worse way uh. of traveling and flying. <laughs> Pot off. Well, I just came up with the idea. The mechanist did all the work. It was your idea to use water bending to make the sub sink and float. Epic. That's awesome. Wow. Original designs were a bit difficult <laughs> to decipher. Oh, shit is drawer. One problem I couldn't fix. The subs have a limited air supply. Before okay. we land on the beaches, we'll need to resurface. Okay. All right, there's always one. I like how they've added thing. engineering limits of their time. And this time, I brought you an extra bowl of rice. Thank you, Ming. Your little gestures of kindness have made my days in prison bearable. Aww. Take the rest of the day off. You don't look well. Maybe you should go home and rest. He's preparing to get out of it. Trust me, it is better that you are not here this afternoon. He's going to wipe the floor with everyone. <laughs> oh, Let's I go. I love Iro, man. I love that he's looking out for her, though. His voice being a bit used to it now. Yeah. So, this is it, huh? Are you ready for the Fire Nation to know the Avatar is alive? I'm ready. Dude, no Avatar State though, what the hell? I didn't realize that it, it was locked away. I know. The next time we resurface, it'll be on the beaches. So stay alert and fight smart. Now break time's over, back in the subs. Oh man, iconic. We've been through so many things together. And I've seen you grow up so much. You're not that little goofy kid I found in the iceberg anymore. He's blushing. Surely he gets a kiss now. What if... What if I don't come back? You are coming back. Don't say that. Of course you'll- mm. Oh shit. Man just sent it. Oh my god. Dude, I think you're wrong about Zuko. It's Aang Katara. Oh no. <laughs> I mean, we said that initially, but oh my god. Katara, what are you doing? It's time to submerge. What? Right, I'm on it. 
Damn, my man. Skill. Just planted one. Respect. That's sick. That I is know, awesome. I know. I always love the way they reinvent the bending. All right, Appa. I'll be Katara. I'm sorry, me. He's leaving. Oh, I wrote a note for her. Where's he going? Interesting. Okay. Has he made secret plans with Iroh, maybe? Maybe he's just... <laughs> oh, my God. They used it in the end. What do you know? It did come in handy. <laughs> maybe he's just leaving altogether. The... Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. That's really abrupt. That's pretty cool. That's awesome, dude. <laughs> wow, their alarms went straight away. Oh, man. Come on, Appa. The animation's been pretty clean this episode as well. Oh, that's Epic. nice. Oh, shit. They, like, harpooned it. Yes. Perfect. Awesome. Go, Katara. What a weapon. I love it. I love it. Watch. Oh, so cool. Oh. oh my god. Let's go, team. Let's go. They weren't preparing for this, were they? Shit, they're just getting through like waves of defenses without having to fully fight them. I like how they got the water benders, the earth benders. Damn, rough from the start. Oh, the earthbenders are in there. Oh, man. Let's like the go. Armor's going in. Oh, so cool. They really are going in with a much smaller army than we thought, though, huh? Like, overall. Still can't believe Boomy is in here. Yeah. Yes. The Earth fights back. Let's go. Everyone's role is so important here. I think this is the Royal Palace. They're already heading straight to it. Oh, wow. What the hell? Holy shit. Oh my God. What are these inventions? Oh. That's what a shield. Huh. We're in tornation is you. No way! Oh my god! They brought the swamp thing back. Oh yes! That is epic! Who would have thought that would be fighting the war with them? Hey you! Where you been? That's exactly how they did it last time too. Tune in with nature. Takes a while to collect this much seaweed. Fair enough, we'll give you that. Awesome. Not bad, Hugh. Respect it. I love their helmets. Yeah, it's like a wolf. It reminds me of like the Starks. Oh, oh Epi. That will stop the sword skills. And don't forget his sword is made of that little comet. Yeah. Oh, He's dead, Epi. Epic as well, dude. <laughs> awesome. Oh, this is a good combo. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this idiot. Alright, we're taking a few hits. I've got an idea. Of course he does. Look at him hanging up up his horn, that's sick. I know. Ah, oh, the bombs. Yeah, you run out of there, fools. Oh, that's pretty cool. Man. They just had water up there ready Loving for it. her. Loving it. You two take out that Look at her water arms. I got this one. Watch each other's backs. Like they always do. Oh, sick. <laughs> he's fine, he's fine. He's fine. Oh no. That's their father. <laughs> Oh shit. I had a feeling too that at some point yeah. he's gonna get injured. 
I know I've made some bad choices. Oh shit. But today, I'm gonna set things right. Oh wow, he's Are doing it, man. Finally getting it. Oh my god. He's leaving. He's leaving. I can't wait. He said he's gonna set things right. What if he goes to save Ira and Ira's already left? We'll soon find out. A, a little better. Oh yeah, lucky she can heal. You can't fight anymore. Everyone's killed. No way. Lead this mission, Katara. Sokka's ready to step in. Down. Oh. Can't oh, you shit. heal him any faster? I'm doing everything I can. Come on, Sokka, let's go. You got this. I'll do it. No offense, Sokka, but you're not exactly Mr. Healing Ham. <laughs> not that. I'll lead the invasion force. Let's go, Sokka, let's go. I am a little crazy, but the eclipse is about to start and we need to be up that volcano by the time it does. Yeah. You can do this. I'm proud of you, son. Oh, oh man. <laughs> that hits me in the feels, dude. Oh, <laughs> dude, I'm actually tearing up. Me too. <laughs> oh. Yip, yip. Yip, yip, papa. <laughs> Doing it with upper two, like, is just iconic. Oh, I love it. Oh, sick. I want the tanks in wedge formation. Warriors and Avengers in the middle. We're taking that tower and heading for the Royal Palace. Let's go. Perfect. Charge! Oh, <laughs> dude, that's sick. Oh, what a leader soccer's become. Holy I know. Shit. Oh, Aang's already there. Yeah. On his own. That's strange. Yeah, they're expecting him. Quiet. I think they're expecting him, man. The Avatar is back. <laughs> no one's there. <gasps> Not going to plan. Hmm. Hello? Anyone home? It's a trap, I reckon. Shit. Do you reckon that's why they're getting through so easily? I'm not sure. I mean, it's a testament to their power, but far out. Damn, they've created some destruction here. But again, Azul knows about the plan, so they are prepared. Sokka, we're on our way to victory. They might be leading him into an ambush of sorts. Yeah, shit. Damn it. No, no, no! Come on, Aang. Fire Lord Ozai! Where are you? Shit, because he has to find him in time. We're like eight minutes. Yeah, they did they lost the element of surprise. Yeah. Holy shit. Wow, I right, got taking a quick intermission. That's the end of part one. I'm gonna give our little discussion and then we'll start into part two as well. God damn. So I think the one thing that keeps eluding us, I'm swaying towards my idea, is because we weren't on the same page about whether Aang's team knew that Azula knew or not. I'm swaying towards them not knowing yeah. because everything hints towards the Fire Nation's showing signs of being prepared for this, even the secret meetings they had with Zuko mm. and stuff. And I don't recall ever having, yeah, I don't, I don't believe yeah. Aang's team did know. You know what's crazy? I mean, it makes sense anyways that they would hide regardless in those eight minutes, regardless of whether they were being invaded or not. Do you know what well, I mean? Well, I don't think that secret came out from the library. So people aren't supposed to know about that. So yeah. they wouldn't have thought it would be a threat. True. They only found out Aang's team knew about that because yeah. of the freaking Earth King that leaked the information. <sighs> so what now? I mean... He, Aang already feels like a failure, but he's not going to give up. We know he's not going to give up. No, but wow, that was awesome. Especially just the sentiment, the emotion throughout that episode. Yeah. The way they resourcefully used all their strategies with bending and their equipment and using Sokka's brilliance. It was just yeah. so many throwbacks, you know? So many things happened. Like, just in that one episode, it was almost so much to keep up with. Big payoffs. Big pay That's what I was going to say. All those little episodes that felt a little slower and we're meeting new people and, you know, we're learning new skills and tricks and whatnot. 
we're seeing it all come to fruition in this episode, all for yeah. one big purpose, and it's fantastic. I really do love the story writing in that way. Yeah, hundred percent. The main people that I think are missing, Master Paku, I yeah. think he was the water bending master, and Boomy, dude. I know Boomy's not done. I assume maybe they're saving him for the yeah, final that's final what battle. I think. But I just definitely feel like those guys should have been here. And I really wish Jet was a part of this. I, I always thought he I would know. be. So it's kind of sad. But it was nice to have the, come his name, but the Earthbender from book one. It was nice to have him come and he looks older with the, yeah. you know, the facial hair like and stuff. I the new look. It's awesome. Yeah, I do think that they are trying to save some of the bigger players for the finale. But, I mean, it's been fantastic so far. I mean, Katara and Sokka losing their dad to just an injury. I expected that to happen, yeah. I think it's important because then we really get to see how much they've both learned throughout this journey. I mean, yeah, great. We had their father. He played his role and, you know, was the father, was the leader, was a warrior. We heard so much about him and now we finally got to see it. But now it's time for these two to take over. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm really excited going into this next one now. I, I just feel like it's going to leave us on a big cliffhanger. I feel like it's going to be... Some really epic shit. Something's, yeah. something's not right here. We can feel it. Yeah. So I can't wait to get into it and just see what is going on. And I'm loving Upper's new gear. Yep. All right. Ready for part two? Damn. They definitely pushed back against it. Wow. It's real war vibes. You're on your feet again. Thanks to your sister. I'm in no shape to fight, but maybe there's some way I can help. You just rest, my friend. Katara, you seem distracted. Is something wrong? Yeah. Is that... is that Aang? Oh, shit. Here we go. This is where it flips on its head. Oh, if only. Home. No one was. The entire palace city is abandoned. They knew. They knew. Okay, yeah. Fire Lord is probably long gone. Far away on some remote island where he'll be safe during the eclipse. Yeah, damn. My instincts tell me he wouldn't go too far. He would have a secret bunker. Somewhere he could go and be safe. And we know we can trust Sokka's instincts. They're usually right. If it's an underground secret bunker we're looking for, I'm just the girl to find it. We got you, Tom. It looks like we've got about 10 minutes until the full eclipse. 10 minutes to find the Fire Lord. Damn, all hands on deck. If they knew we were coming, it could all be a trap. Maybe we should use the time we have left to make sure we all get out of here safely. Everyone who's here today came prepared to risk everything for this mission. Oh, man. If there's still a chance and there's still hope, I think they would want Aang to go for it. Yeah. Yeah. You're the one that has to face the Fire Lord. Whatever you decide, I'm with you. Aang. I've got to try. I love oh, it. I love such it. Such a G-up. So fierce. There's something big, dense, and made of metal deep in the heart of the volcano. Sounds like a secret bunker to me. Okay, and they kept showing the volcano when they were coming in. This way, that one's a dead end. What will we do without you? I mean, I wouldn't be screaming, but yeah. <laughs> the tunnel continues on the other side, and it leads right to the bunker. We'll have to be fast, but careful. Oh, good nice, job. Dang. There's no floor. It's just a river of lava. Tummy is always there. I'm expecting to run into her at some stage. Either them or Zuko. <gasps> That's some door. All right. What's going to be in there? Chicken metal bend. Not a problem. Oh, dude. Ridiculous. Epic. <laughs> oh, my God. Damn. I am so glad we added you to the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, me too, Sokka. <laughs> Retreat! Everyone move to the secondary defensive position! Retreat! Oh. Time's running out, guys. We should be able to make it up the hill by the time it starts and secure the entire palace by the time it's finished. <sighs> I love them. I love the warriors of the water bending. I want to press forward with the others. Katara's sort of handicapped right now. That's shit. The Fire Lord's chamber is that way. Down the hall to the left <laughs> and up the stairs. You can't miss it. 
I don't know. It seems too convenient. But Toph would know if he's lying. <sighs> I don't know. That was strange, wasn't it? Yeah. I don't know. There's going to be some caveat to this. They would have prepared for it. I'm ready. I'm ready to face the Fire Lord. And it looks, looks like a Zola. Yeah. You are alive after all. I had a hunch that you survived. But it doesn't matter. I've known about the invasion for months. Yeah, she has. I'm ready to face you. Oh. Prince Zuko, what are you doing here? He's going to his father. What's oh, he going to wow. do? We didn't expect that. They flipped them. Holy shit. What a coward, though. The Fire Lord has his daughter fighting his battle. What are you doing? All right. Moment of truth. They got Eclipse glasses. I'm here to tell the truth. Telling the truth during the middle of an eclipse. This should be interesting. Oh, it will be, mate. It will be. First of all, embossing say it was Azula who took down the Avatar, not me. Why would she lie to me about that? Because the Avatar's not dead. He survived. What? Oh, he didn't even know. Oh, wow. She hid from him. Get out of my sight right now if you know what's good for you. That's another thing. I'm not taking orders from you oh, anymore. Oh, yes. Let's go. This defiant breath will be your last. Think again. Yes. Oh, speak my mind and you are going to listen. I love it. I love this, dude. Oh, oh my go, God. Zuko. Go, Zuko. I mean, I'm not good enough for you. You're hurting my feelings. So she really played even her father. I'll be able to tell if you're lying. Are you sure? I'm a pretty good liar. I am a 400 foot tall purple platypus bear with pink horns. Oh, no. Okay, you're good. I admit it. Shit. Damn. What the hell? When I left Ba Sing Se, I brought home some souvenirs. Oh no, the Dai Li are here. Dai Li agents. Damn. Shit, man. Oh no, dude. So she's just buying him time. She only needs to occupy them for eight minutes. We have to secure the palace by the time the eclipse is over. Otherwise, we'll be in for the fight of our lives. Yeah, they'll be screwed. Yeah. We'll never surrender. Mm, you might Maybe have to. Know. They didn't. We surrender. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they didn't know about it. For so long, all I wanted was for you to love me, to accept me. I thought it was my honor that I wanted, but really, I was just trying to please you. Say oh, how dude, it is. This is the speech we wanted. You banished me just for talking out of turn. My father. Who challenged me, a 13 year old boy, to an Agni Kai? How can oh, you possibly shit. justify a duel with a child? I it's know. I... Respect. It was cruel and it was wrong. <laughs> Go, Zuko. I've learned everything. Yes. And I've had to learn it on my own. Growing up, we were taught that the Fire Nation was the greatest civilization in history. Wrong. Oh, shit. What an amazing lie that was. <laughs> world are terrified by the fire nation they don't see our greatness they hate us yeah and we deserve it oh my god dude crazy Zuko. we need to replace it with an era of peace and kindness just like Iroh was saying ah oh, he's there's a bloody snake to you hasn't he yes he has yeah oh, dude that's Zuko oh I love it All right, so Zuko's really turned around. Oh, top as usual, bodying him. She's so skillful, man. She's so... Bloody Azula. Okay. Quite skillful herself. Oh, oh epic. Oh. oh, my God. 
go next level this Come on, man. Surely you can wreck her, dude. Damn, she's just dodging and wasting time. I know. They should just leave her and go find the Fire Lord. I would have just grabbed her. Yeah. Goddamn. Oh, I love the way they bust through the wall. Oh, no. Oh, go top. Wait, hey, top. Stop attacking. Don't you see what she's doing? She's just playing with us. Yeah. You're trying to keep us here and waste all our time. Yeah. I think your friend just said that, genius. And since you can't see, I should tell you, I'm rolling my eyes. Oh, oh dude. My low block. Oh, <laughs> What do we do? Just ignore her? We don't have a choice. We just have to get out of here and find the Fire Lord on our own somehow. I mean, let her know your plans again. So, Sokka's your name, right? My favorite prisoner used to mention you all the time. She was convinced you were going to come rescue her. Of course, she, she has the girls, stayed, remember? And she gave up on you. No, don't do that to him. Come and get it. Oh, Perfect. shit. Where is Suki? Oh, she forgot about them, didn't we? I'm going to free Uncle Iroh from his prison, and I'm going to beg for his forgiveness. He's the one who's been a real father to me. Aww. Oh, my God, man. He's laying it out. He can pass down to you the ways of tea and failure. But I've come to an even more important decision. I'm going to join the Avatar. <laughs> You're a full-blown traitor now, and you want me gone. Why wait? Oh, my God. Because I know my own destiny. Taking you down is the Avatar's destiny. Oh, I love it. Oh, my God. Ridiculous. Oh, my God. Yes, I'm like, finally. If you have any real courage, you'll stick around until the sun comes out. Oh, Don't shut up. to know what happened to your mother? Oh, shit. He's baiting him. Azula and him are good at that, huh? Yeah, they're both bloody wretches, man. Oh, man. Far out. Fire Lord Azulon had commanded me to do the unthinkable to you, my own son. And I was going to do it. Of course he was. Of course he was. You sell out. She knew I wanted the throne, and she proposed a plan. A plan in which I would become Fire Lord, and your life would be spared. Disgusting. Damn. See, they both play the same trick. Where are you keeping her? Just get onto the mission and you'll find her. She knew the consequences and accepted them. For her treason, she was banished. Look at that. Also, he would prosper. Now I realize that banishment is far too merciful a penalty for treason. Your penalty will be far steeper. You'll be what? dead. Night, You'll be dude. dead. Oh, he has lightning. Holy shit. So you guys he redirected it. <laughs> he redirected it. No way he did Iroh's technique. Oh my god, you weren't expecting that. Mm. Oh shit, he humiliated him. Oh, dude, know. that is ridiculous. And they missed the Black Sun. Dad's all the way at the end of the hall, then down a secret stairway on the left. I'm sure he'd be more than happy to see you now. Oh, you little shit, Azula. The eclipse is over, but I can face the Fire Lord anyway. No. Oh, shit. The Fire Lord knew we were coming this time. We thought we had surprise on our side, but we didn't. It just wasn't our day. What we need to do now is go help our friends. Yeah, I think so. You'll have another chance. I know you will. Oh man, dude, that Zuka moment still gives oh, me, gives me I know, chills. I know. Shouldn't something have happened by now? I don't know, but now that the eclipse is over, I expect we're going to see some firebenders any minute. Yep, right now. I knew it. I was waiting for that. Remember when they stole the plans? I was waiting for them to use that. My own invention. Yeah, that was the plans they stole. You're an invention, so you know how to take it down. Not right now. Oh my god, they've made a giant one. 
oh my god, they're screwed. What are they gonna do? Avatar has to go Avatar State somehow. It was all a trap. Azula knew we were coming and she's plotted out every move. If we can make it to the submarines, maybe we can get away safely. They've got air power, but so do I. Yes. <laughs> oh no. Oh man. When Aang gets locked in, it gives me chills. Perfect. We got two in the air. Oh, perfect. Guys, yeah, what's good tactic? <laughs> Slice right through it. Oh, damn. Come on, Appa. We've got good armor now, at least. There are too many of them. Let's join the others. It's good, they know their limits. Did he escape Uncle. already? He already destroyed them, yeah. Damn. Where's my uncle? He's gone. He busted himself out. I've never seen anything like it. He was like a one-man army. Yes, That's he right, was. You, fool. you will learn the and name Iroh. He didn't Iro. kill anyone. I know. Testament to Iroh. That idiot was always undermining him. Some bombs. Shit. Damn. Why aren't they turning around to attack us again? They're headed for the beach. Oh no. The How are we all gonna escape? We're not. Then our only choice is to stand and fight. We have the Avatar. What the hell? Could still win on another day. You kids have to leave. You have to escape on Appa together. Oh no way. You're our only chance in the long run. You and Sokka have to go with Aang somewhere safe. It's the only way to keep hope alive. The youngest of our group should go with you. The adults will stay behind and surrender. We'll be prisoners. Oh my god. But we'll all survive this battle. Oh, I've got some shit. experience with the Fire Nation prisons. It's not going to be easy, but we'll get by. <sighs> That's so sad. Damn it, man. That's heartbreaking. That's pretty cool how they're... It's awesome how they're trying to fight him back, yeah. But it's too much. Damn. Dude, Q might be injured. Oh, no. Damn it, man. Uh, I'll miss you, Pipsqueak. Take care, the Duke. They are just friends, yeah. We'll be back for you, Dad. If we don't escape on our own first. We lost today, but we've never been this close. We tasted victory, and that counts for something. Oh, he's such, such a great leader. Bye, Dad. We won't be apart for too long this time. I promise. <laughs> oh, man, it rips me. Actually, it rips me on the inside. Oh, look at Aang. He really feels the failure. Thank you all for being so brave and so strong. I'm going to make this up to you. <sighs> oh, man. Oof, that hits me in the feels big time. <laughs> Far out. Oh. That rips you. Oh no. Oh. Follow them, princess. No, they're too fast. But it doesn't matter. They'll be back. Oh, piss off us all. I know just the place for us to go where we'll be safe for a while. The Western Air Temple. Oh, okay. back where it all began. <sighs> oh no. Oh, I thought that might be Iro. Oh, oh, Luke though. Oh, okay, good, good. He's I'm happy. Them. He's following them. <laughs> Oh, shit, dude. You ready? <laughs> Trying to clean all the tears off and get yourself together. Ooh, get my shit together. 
Man, that was that is my favorite two parter by far in the whole oh, series so far. I haven't been so emotional with Avatar in I think ever. I mean, I've had moments and stuff, but yeah, that was Rip trying me. to keep it in. <laughs> He's had like three, four moments that I genuinely teared up. Probably can't see on the camera, but rip me like I could. Oh my god, really yeah. emotional two part episode. So much in this, ridiculous. Before we get into it, I have to put you on blast. Okay. Because and, and you guys in the comments feel free to do the same. Because <laughs> I feel like you somewhat compromised our just where we started this two parter from. Because you put that doubt in my mind about whether the Angst team knew or not, and it kept making us confused. Whereas had we known from the beginning that Angst team didn't know, everything would have made more sense in the way I was interpreting it. So okay. You didn't even put a blast because when, when when they confirmed it in my head, I was like, oh, pudgy because I knew it. But, but then- I didn't know. I, I, I said I didn't know. I wasn't confident. I just- Ah, uh, questionable. I just felt like they knew. Yeah, don't worry. You'll be throwing fire, fire <laughs> nation prison very soon. Oh, my God. But damn. I don't even know where to begin. Oh, all right. Let's just- Aro, Aro. No, 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 no. <laughs> Let's begin with one of my favorite parts of this. Okay. Zuko. Yeah. Holy guacamole. Just <laughs> lost my shit. Holy shit. The speech, the interaction, everything was perfect. Perfection. He finally stood up to his father, which he said everything that we've been thinking and saying this everything. whole time. What a growth for Zuko. Not one stone unturned. Not one line was missed. Yeah. Everything he said there was perfection. It was oh. a it was masterpiece. What Zuko said, everything, everything I felt and harbored for so long. He finally, till the very end, yeah. the Fire Lord created what looks like one of the biggest, most aggressive lightning strikes ever. And yeah. I thought Zuko was gonna get blasted by it. And then he reversed it. That move was perfect. So good. The fact that it's like the writers knew everything that the audience was thinking. The fact that he was a 13-year-old boy and his father, like <laughs> When he, like, asked someone to duel with him, what's it called? Challenge. Challenge. Oh, you suck. <laughs> you ruined the momentum, dude, big time. Okay. I can't think of the way. Fix it again, cool momentum. <laughs> Challenged him to a duel, like a 13-year-old, when, you know, just all these things. Like, the fact that he banished him because he, Zuko said, he said one thing out of turn. Like, yeah. crazy. So, I'm thinking what made sense to me in that speech is that, Zuko's mother did something. Mm. I think she was the one that maybe but, poisoned or something or killed yeah. the grandfather. Yeah. Took the role of treason. Yeah. And Ozai was happy with all this because he ended up as Fire Lord. Disgusting. What, what a sellout snake. If you ever did that to me, nah, done. <laughs> Back to the actual topic at hand versus that uselessness. Dude, insane. Like... What a sellout weak oh, leader. No. He was prepared to have his mother take the fall and banish her also that he as long as he achieved power and then he banished the son anyway. Like just shit. So I'm Horrendous. so glad Zuko saw through all that. Yes, so am I. Wow. What I find interesting is that Azula never told the Fire Lord about half her plan. That's what I was gonna say. Like, I wonder why, because what would she have gained from it? The whole point it wasn't to protect anyone. It was just so that they don't, or like hurt anyone. It was just to make sure they don't go to the father. I guess it was to protect the father, but she didn't do anything to Aang and whatnot. It was just like a wild goose chase. Yeah. Well, she. I guess she said she knew they'll come back for the real yeah. fight. Yeah. And the armies weren't. This army was a diversion. It was just to buy time for the eclipse. Yeah, because they were weak, so it wasn't. Yeah. Because she wasn't worried. She. Told them the location of the father after the fire came back. Yeah, she's that confident in her father's abilities. Yeah, of course. So obviously, as a fire, as a fire lord and a firebender, he's very strong. But she didn't account for Zuko learning Iroh's little trick. Awesome. That that was so sick. Like it happened so fast. I was like, what the fuck, like. And even the way it ended when Zuko goes, "I know my destiny," which goes from the yeah talking to Iroh and the scrolls, and it's not to fight you as the Avatar's job. So he yeah. knows he's battles elsewhere. Yeah. He's oh, to that help him. So we're right. Zuko is, you know. Well, a turnaround. But what screws him over now is that he's going to join Team Aang, but the mercenary still after them. I reckon Zuko's yeah. going to have to fix what he sowed. 
Yeah, it's funny. Can't we just tell the mercenary, okay, I don't want your services anymore? Like that, I would think that's how it works, but yeah, I, I wonder how that'll work out. I don't know, but damn. It ripped me at the end there. You could see the tears in Aang's eyes because he obviously felt the pain that he failed everyone again. Yeah. You know, he felt that pain. I but mean, this time he's not defeated. He he knows he has the strength and he knows this isn't the right time. So instead of letting their poor judgment get in, get in the way, they know their skills, they know their limitations, and they're working with that. That's all they can do. And I think it was great that they actually had that discussion, both children and adults, and they made that decision together. And honestly, it, it moved me that the adults were prepared to stay behind and become prisoners. The sacrifice was beautiful, beautifully oh. done. Genuinely, that ripped me as well. Just, oh, and I think that's going to be really useful in the fight to come because I think they've got a whole bunch of allies on the inside now, yeah. including Suki and her warriors. And when yeah. they free them... You know, they'll have to, maybe this time they'll come with Boomi and Master Paku yeah, in the future. I don't know. I think so. Then when they, they free them. They couldn't imprison everyone. Yeah. Yeah. So that makes more sense why not everyone was there initially. Yeah. But God, oh, it was just the themes were great. Oh. Every character had awesome moments to shine. Like Toph was just brilliant as always in the way she fights. Yeah. Just super resourceful. Soccer really stood up and it hurt me when he, when he teared up realizing that Suki's been captured this whole time. Yeah. Oh, man. Like, again, so many moments in this that just ripped me. I oh, know. But it was great. It was so emotional, the whole thing. And then it was also epic on, a, on another hand. But then we also had, like, little moments that stay true to the storytelling and the characters where there's a little bit of humor. Just, like, Suko saying... Suko. <laughs> I, I, I mixed both oh, yeah. their names. Sokka was saying, like, you know, oh, my God, Top, I'm so happy you're part of the team and things like that. So it was just fantastic. Like, oh, I love it. Yeah. Oof. I do love how Arrow left. And like you said, he he escaped before Zuko got there. So you were correct about that. But I do love, and it just shows the kind of man that Arrow is. He didn't kill anyone. He, I mean, he could have. The guy who said himself, he was a one uh, one man army, and he's so strong. Well, isn't that a testament? He destroyed everyone during the eclipse. Yeah, which means that obviously he probably knew he'd be more difficult if I would firebend. Yeah, but they underestimated what a warrior he was. Yeah, he, Ira wasn't just depending on his firebending, so he broke out of prison and destroyed everyone, beat the shit out of all these guards without even his firebending. I'm assuming everyone thought he was an old fat man, but our boy is ripped. Yeah, and He's I love the ready. throwback. That man that kept taunting him for being useless and what a disgrace yeah. got absolutely belted. Yeah, for sure. Because Ming would have felt, I guess, the pressure or the duty to hold Iroh back and he didn't want to have to hurt her. So I really do like how he warned her as well. Yeah. That was really nice. And even that little element of just one person that was nice to Iroh a little bit, brought him some yeah. tea and stuff, you know, the little things. I think that's nice. Yeah, I think so too. Well, I'm so excited for next episode. Everything changes now. What yeah. we've been waiting for since book one, finally, we're going to have Zuko and potentially Ira at some stage join the team. Like, that's awesome. I know. At the end there, I thought that it might have been someone else from the Fire Nation, you know, following them. Again, That it wouldn't have been that hard to take them down. But... No, it was Zuko, and I was so happy when I saw that. Zuko's going to have a lot to pay for. I can imagine Katara in particular is going to be pretty upset because when she finally forgave him last time, yeah. they they literally killed Aang. So this time he's going to, I imagine it's going to be pretty rough. Yeah, it might be rough, yeah. I, I think Aang will come in and forgive him, but yeah, it's definitely going to be. I mean, think about how they had a jet versus Zuko. Yeah, but especially Aang because of the information that he found out but about the grandfathers and now he's like the reincarnation of them. Yeah. Yeah. So the great grandfather. Oh, it's going to be so nice seeing him together, man. I'm, I'm so looking forward to the next 10 episodes or so just to see Zuko and Aang as mates, see this new crew. I think it's going to be just, it's going to be perfect. Oh, I cannot wait. Even though the more, if there's more like lighthearted moments, just to see them interact as friends. I'm all for it now. I want to see this new dynamic. Yeah. Same. Well, guys, we hope you enjoyed our reaction to this epic, epic two-parter. <laughs> Leave a like on the video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you know when we drop the final episodes of book three. And let us know your thoughts in the comments. We've covered a lot in this episode, so we'll be reading them. Let us know what you guys thought of this insane episode. We'd love to read those comments. 
Stay tuned because we've got some big ones to come. Take care of yourselves and we'll see you guys next reaction. See you guys.